People might remember last year that we had Dawn Calling, which was a project where you could have a morning session from 5 a.m. Um, taking you to places of worship. This time we're going to show you the nightlife of Parramatta, but as it existed many years ago in the middle of the disco craze, because there were a couple of places that were really famous for just that, being places of worship for people adoring disco. So Disco Dome is a really special dance and art event where we go on a walking tour of Parramatta and of the old, some of the old discotheque sites and also the old cinema sites of Parramatta. Essentially it's really just an investigation of time and of place and of period and also of music and art. The 70s in particular were very interesting because Parramatta was really changing from Anglo culture to a culture which includes people from Lebanon, from Greece, from Italy, from Turkey, from the Pacific, all over the world. So it was a very interesting time. And disco was a perfect time for that to take place in the 70s. As well as looking to um, look at great music, we're working with some of the best contemporary artists in Australia to work um, on the project. So we're at Fitness First in Parramatta and um, I grew up seeing movies here, uh, so did Heath and, uh, and it's no longer a, a cinema of course, it's, it's, it's a live working gym. We'll be presenting a short video of about 12 minutes which takes a lot from cinematic techniques. It's quite exciting to be showing this work within the context of, a, of an old cinema. I mean, architecturally, you can, you can still see it's here, it, it's somewhere. I'm actually doing two performances. So one is going to be very low key, it's going to be more guttural about the beat, about the heartbeat of the music, about sweating it out with a bunch of people. And then my other performance is going to contrast beautifully with that, and I'm going to draw on the camp the uh, costume and the glitz and glamour of the disco culture as well. When people talk about disco, they kind of are a bit disparaging because it's, they think it's about kind of cheesy music and funny fashion and being a bit stupid. Whereas in fact it's actually a serious kind of cultural movement and a revolutionary movement because it was about liberation, it was about freedom and also it came at the end of the 60s and so you know people were sick of you know flower power and prog rock and I mean really who could dance to Jethro Tull? You know you couldn't. It was the disco era that was hitting yeah. Australia. It wasn't available on the radio, you couldn't hear it on the radio. Um, you had to go to a club to listen to it. But they were, they were the days, there was no CDs, it was, you know, everything was hardcore on the turntables. Yeah. Not like today. It's great music and um, people love it. And also to ultimately what this project is about is about people but also about music and hopefully dancing. So hopefully they'll dance. Mm -hmm.